Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 63. This is Flores 14th, bringing you another series of the May 1v1 tournament. This match is going to be between Randy and Ivory King. Ivory King showed up, so we are going to play this game and just go over the brackets a second. So this is the this is the game A in the brackets, and Ivory King. Well, he's going to have a bit of a tough fight. Randy being one of the best players, I think he's number two right now. No, he's number one right now. He's currently ahead of Golde. And on the other hand, we have Lowry and Google Frog are going to be fighting in the semifinals once this is done. And the winner of this will be fighting Clone. So as the game gets going, we will just get started. But so far, just waiting for Ivory King to set himself up. And we will have Ivory King up. The game has begun, or will soon. So Ivory King at the southwest side on the hill. Not sure where he's going to go for factory-wise. Randy in the center going for jump bot factory, which he's actually been doing a lot recently in 1v1 games. Last few replays I saw of him, he has been going for jump bot factory religiously. And he's been using it fairly well, too. Although, in the one game with Cube, he kept going pyros against Rockos, which wasn't the best move. But ultimately, he's okay. He's quite good with the jump bot factory. And Ivory King going for spiders... For massive fleas against Jump Bot Factory, I do not see this working out. In fact, I'm not even sure why on Desert Cliffs you'd go for spiders necessarily. Uh, I'm back. Oh, they've hey. already started. Crap. Yes, they have. Hi. So, Randy going for Jump Bot Factory, getting a couple pyros and puppies, while Ivory King goes for spiders, which I'm not sure exactly why, but he's decided to do that. Probably going to go try to stun out the pyros more than anything. Mm -hmm. Going to be a bit tricky, but if he stuns out the pyro successfully, that will actually work out very well. I think metal cost-wise, it almost pays off. That's true, and actually, nice scouting as well. Coming with coming with the flea, won't be able to kill anything. The puppy will finish it off first, but still more fleas that, that came from. Nice use of line of sight, by the way, just blocking out the defender. Unfortunately, doesn't keep enough attention on that and loses a flea, didn't have to. That could have killed off a metal extractor. It could. That might even have gotten the uh, defender. And another flea reloading. coming in actually will kill off the metal extractor and die in the process, unfortunately, and for it. Nice. He cannot get the metal extractor oh, in the north. He killed the radar flea. too. Metal extractor and radar in one fell swoop. That works out. I was out just nicely. thinking against uh, jumpers, you can make infiltrators against pyros. You can just exchange them one to one and have something that does damage, like your commander. Hmm. I suppose, but... Anyway, this is where the stunning Ooh. is going to come in. Nice jump away. That pyro... Oh, this might cost Miss Factory now. I think you... It, it might, actually, yeah. Actually, it will. That Venom is so not getting in in time. Now unit anymore out of the factory. Well, you know, the Venom is about to come in. The Venom should stop before the factory is more than halfway destroyed. Oh, there it goes. lucky. Lockdown happens. Not in the factory, too, mind you, it's but still... Could have gone worse. <laughs> Could have gone a lot worse, but the factory has been locked down. It'll take ages to kill that uh, pyro. And in the meantime, another pyro is coming in, so I think Randy ha will take game one. I really have not much confidence in how this is going to work otherwise. Yeah, so, he's... Yeah, second pyro coming in. Weaver going to come in and try to repair somewhat. And looks like Ivory King is trying to stun in a way that's not going to be... He's trying to get... The Pyro and Splash damage, but not get the Factory. Unfortunately, not succeeding in that regard. But the Pyro is a few shots away from being killed. So at least that's something. And Ivory King's Commander, on the other hand, in the center of the map, needs to retreat. He taking some damage, going for... Want to morph that commander. He has... Uh, yeah, no more. to spare. Randy did go for Beam Laser Recon Com, while the Pyro finally dead. And the red back can go in, but doesn't matter. Ivory King Ivory throws in the towel in game one. We're moving on to game two. Yeah, Desert Cliffs. Man, that is one heck of a short match. So, that it was game one. We'll be back with game two shortly. Pro possibly taking more time to get in the delay than it did to play this game in the first place, but we'll see. Yeah, a lot of three to five minute opening games this tournament. Anyway, we'll be back in just a moment, so stay tuned. Welcome back, 0K fans. This is Shadow333 with Game 2 of Randy vs. Ivory King. 
We are on Icy Shell this time with a close start. Both players starting the west side of the map. Randy at the southwest side of the map going for jump bots as usual. And Ivory King going for shields. Early dirt bag for scouting. Two dirt bags even. That's excessive. Given that they cost 40 metal now, I don't know. I don't really like that idea. But he is at least going to scout out everything first. Although, given that they are closed positions, that's not going to matter too much. Last game of Cast and Icy Shell was cross position. Actually, most of them I do on our, on our cross positions. But this one happens to be closed position, and that's going to be a bit of a problem. Bandit will be able, Two bandits should be able to get rid of a pyro well microed. But unfortunately, one bandit's not enough. And Ivory King, not quite able to micro around this. But he is able to get rid of the pyro, I think. Yeah, he'll be able to get rid of the pyro before too much damage is dealt. A bit of economy damage, but not too much. At the same time, he lost bag. three raiders to it. Oh shoot! You're right. I just missed that. Down goes another bandit, and down goes the radar as well. Yeah, Randy is really out microing Ivory King in this one of the bandits. But he does know what's going on inside of Randy's base. Nothing too notable though. Just main construction. However, this this pyro about to go down. Takes any more damage, it's going to go down, but it does kill a Mex in the meantime, and the band comes uh, in to finish it off. That's way too much damage for a one Pyro. <laughs> oh, man. He has to rebuild everything. <laughs> yeah, he's four metal behind right now, eight energy behind. Randy took all that time to build stuff while just killing with impunity. There's no easy way that Ivory King can even harass here. He's he comes with bandits, he has to deal with another Pyro. Sheesh. Looks like he might be going for that, though. He does have... Well, man, his factory already is not even going that far in. I mean, his commander is on high priority just to try to get everything rebuilt as quickly as possible, and even that's not working especially well. But Ivory King is at least heading up for scouting. He's trying to have just a good idea of when Randy moves out. Bandit moves in, unfortunately gets killed by Defender. What's new? Well, not much. So Randy, in a really safe spot. Ivory King is reclaiming this Pyro, so at least he's getting some metal from that. Getting himself back in the game somewhat, but... He, he has his commander still in his base. He, uh, yeah. No more. He doesn't have a turret no to uh, defend against new uh, Pyros. Yeah, at this point, Randy's taking advantage of the fact that Ivory King has not built up too much to build up himself. Not going for the finishing blow, just going for... Uh, he, the thing is, he... By uh, the as you can see, he has his lap. No, he doesn't have his lap idle, but he um, spent a lot of resources in expanding after he won the first raid. He did, which is a good idea. So now in the next phase, he'll be ahead greatly. Yeah, that will be that will be a big deal, especially with the second pyro soon to come in. Actually, another pyro is already in. That this is the third pyro here. So Randy in a really good spot right now, taking the center as well. That is going to seal super it. Super max. That is a five value max, as I mentioned in the last yeah. cast I did. That is everything else is two. That center one is five. Pyro comes in, gets rid of a max. Couple bandits come in to try to deal with it. They should be able to with a few losses, but no, I'm really not paying a whole lot of attention here. The pyro once again tearing apart the metal extractor, and another pyro on the east side. So pyro is everywhere. What this pyro over here is. Not going to die. 46 health, but gets out. And another Pyro here going to take advantage of this Convict being out in the open. While Bandits come in to try to counterattack completely. And Ivory King might actually be able to do some damage. With five Bandits, I think he's going to have a chance. But he might be inviting a base trade situation that will not work out in his favor. But wouldn't be a trade. He's just leaving his base open. Managed to get rid of the... Does manage to get... I guess the Freaker bandits. out. It's the Fender out. Locks down the factory, so at least he's making sure that nothing new is coming out of that factory. But at the same time... Might even kill the factory now. Actually, oh, you're okay, right. There's... No, their pyros come back. Pyros are coming back. It's okay. But still, he can kill a lot of other things. He can try to push Randy back just a bit. Randy down to 22 metal. Actually, that pyro is about to go down. Pyro only has 92 health. If the bandit targets it effectively, it should be able to kill it. Down goes the pyro. A second pyro coming in, but that's only at 46 health. Unfortunately, the bandit burns to death before it can kill the pyro, but another wave of bandits comes in right afterwards. Randy might have come, made this a little bit too open, but I think these, this full health pyro will have no problem dealing with the bandits. Yeah, the, the pyro is starting to scourge the bandit attack, but even then the bandit's coming around. Ivory King does know what's going on here. 
No, he doesn't. Never mind. He doesn't know what's going on in the center. He has no idea, no radar, no line of sight. Nothing. But Ivory King, I imagine he suspects something is up, but he doesn't know that there's nothing, whether there's something along the south side or in the center. No, um, he should have guessed. Or he knows that there's something. Yeah, he's got a thug going to the center. Be taking it. no point not taking Yeah, he's got a thug going straight to the center, so he's probably going to go for it. And a dirtbag scouting at the south, so he does know somewhat what's going on in the south. But at this point, he does... He has some vision of the Mexus to the south. Some history of that. But at the same time, Thug against Pyro, not going to work out well for Pyro, but the Roach coming in for extra support, and that Pyro not paying attention, although it does jump away. Randy very wisely avoids the Roach. He could burn it up, but even then it would probably kill his Pyro in the process. Yeah, Randy just marks it out for himself so he knows what to fire at. Oh, nice! Trying to burn out the ground to get rid of the Roach. Doesn't hit, but that's a right idea. That's how you deal with him. Unfortunately, he doesn't know where the Roach is exactly, trying to just guess, and unable to get there. Pyro needs to be really careful, and Randy knows that that Roach could be anywhere in this general area. And presumably, he probably suspects there might be Roaches everywhere. Nah. Still able to get some good They're harassment. No, getting into the Roach! The Roach is able to go off! Randy gets careless for a split <coughs> second, and the Roach takes advantage of that, getting rid of that Pyro. However, three more, four more take its place in the assault. Five more, actually. Another one just gets produced off the factory. So, there isn't much Irene can really do. He's putting up a very valiant fight. But, of course, I only use that word when people aren't doing especially well. <laughs> but still being tenacious about it. Definitely impressive. If not successful, unfortunately. Yeah, Ivory King's commander about to get taken out by Pyros here. Doing what it can with the, with the Riot Cannon. Should be able to take out at least one of the Pyros in the process, but it, it goes down. One That's commander it. down, GG. three Pyros, and that is game and series. Randy takes the series and will be fighting against Clone in the semifinals. I'm not sure whether he or Google Frog is going to be playing first, but that will be one of the two will be our next game. So we'll just recap. All the round one matches are done. Randy and Clone are semifinals, and Loudon and Google Frog are also semifinals. We'll be back with that in just a moment. One of the two. So stay tuned for that.